Oh, hi. Are we recording? Oh, hi, friends. Let's tell some more Broadway stories. I'm here by the Marriott Marquis Theater. It's within this huge Marriott Hotel. We're directly opposite the Lunt, where Tina is will be playing again, the Tina Turner musical. Uh, the Marriott Marquis Theater, inside of the Marquis Hotel. Uh, okay, here's the story. I'm going to get all this half. Did it just start raining? Son of a bitch. It's not supposed to. It's not supposed to. No, I think it's, yeah, it's raining. Anyways, I'm under a marquee at the Marriott Marquee. Uh, anyways, anyways, there's a pass-through. I'm going to go sit in the pass-through over here. Oh, also, we're right by uh, Hamilton at the Rogers and the Scientology building. All the sites, people, all the sites. Anyways, Marriott Marquee Theater. When they built the um, Marriott Marquee Hotel, a lot of M's, they tore down three Broadway theaters to put this hotel in here. There was a huge uproar about the removal of three Broadway theaters. So after they were already in construction on this thing, there was a theater space, but meant to be like for conventions or um, trade show, like a big auditorium with a lot of backstage, but not necessarily meant to be a Broadway functioning house. But the decision was made do a little bit of revision and make that a Broadway theater. And it was made into the Marriott Marquis Theater. Uh, when that happened back in the 80s, it's been decades of it being reworked and rebuilt and changed all around. Uh, the first show that, that was in there, I, what I heard was there were places backstage in the winter where if you left a cup of water standing overnight, it would freeze solid by morning. Okay, equity, actors equity, we have a problem. So it's even been to the point of like, the way you enter from the street to get to the stage from the stage door has changed where it's been. Uh, this little area back here, that's now the box office, used to not be at all. There's a carport cross through for the hotel, which used to be part of with escalators that went up into the lobby to get into the theater. Even when you get up into the lobby to go into the theater, you're on like a second or third floor lobby, which has like a glass partition front that then lets you into the theater. Along the sides of that lobby, there are storefronts, glass fronted storefronts that have never been used as stores. And at certain points with certain shows, they were used as dressing rooms. Out of the theater, out in the lobby, it's the weirdness of the marquee. I did uh, three years ago now, uh, my favorite, the most fun I've ever had, ever, ever, ever had in the theater. Uh, Escape to Margaritaville. The ja How are you doing, man? I'm doing a video for my public. Oh, good. How's good it going? You. Good to you. you working? Uh, yeah, I'm working. So. Good. We'll be back soon. We'll be back soon. Good to, good to you, see you. That's one of the stage doormen that I know. Such a cutie, too, that one. Oof. Latino, he's hot. Ralphie. Mmm, mmm. Anyways, anyways, this is going to be a long video. We did Escape to Margaritaville, the Jimmy Buffett musical in here. Uh, people that worked on the show had worked previously on other shows and were like, oh, that staircase never used to be there. Okay, now wait a minute. That never used to be there. Okay, this wasn't a dressing room. Okay, that was not there at all. So the way that they've made this function as a Broadway theater over the years has been interesting. It's also a show killer of a house because it's a big house, meaning you need to sell a lot of seats every day to make your money to survive in this theater. So unless you're a mega hit, good luck, why are you in the Marriott Marquis Theater? And they really thought that the Jimmy Buffett musical was going to attract an army of parrot heads and make their money. It was, they were mistaken. We didn't make it. Uh, we had a ball. Uh, what else can I tell you? Also, above the theater, is like conference, like um, ballrooms, like banquet rooms. If there's a bar mitzvah or a wedding above the theater, you'll be doing the show on a Saturday night and the entire backstage and the lights and everything are vibrating because of the dance floor upstairs, the music and everything, and you can feel it and feel it and the whole stage is kind of shaking because it again wasn't built to be a theater with acoustically. Mm. <laughs> so that was always fun when you're like, oh, it must be a bar mitzvah upstairs because every single thing back here is vibrating. <sighs> so, and also even just to get from, on the, uh, this, it's on the other side, the other street is where the stage door is. You go in the stage door and you go up into 
the hotel, it's kind of like working in a cruise ship or inside of a casino, because you're gonna walk up several long, wide flights of concrete stairs and concrete halls before you even get into an area that is remotely like, oh, look, we're in a theater now. So it's really not like uh, any of the other ones. I loved it also, and most of us do, because it is newer, so it's not as rat-infested, filthy, and disgusting, and it's also big. It's spacious back there, so dressing rooms are larger, uh, backstage is bigger, Weirdly, there's not enough space backstage to like, okay, so that room off of stage right, that's gonna be the ladies' quick change. You go out in the hall, you go around the corner, and that's where they're gonna change. So there's a lot of that weirdness. The other thing is that like the ensemble dressing rooms are another floor above. So the stage, uh, there's a couple dress rooms on stage level, go up another flight of stairs, that's where the wardrobe room ended up, and there's a few dressing rooms there. There's a big, they got a green room with couches and like, snack machines and microwaves. It's luxurious for Broadway. Floor above that is where there's more uh, ensemble dressing rooms, which have like punch key, like a you know, code lock on the doors that have to be locked. And they lock entirely when you uh, walk through them because that hallway, it also happens to be an exit hallway. Should there ever be a fire in the hotel, that's an exit hall. So it's the weirdest. You're working inside of a casino, inside of a hotel, oddness but that's the Marriott Marquis and uh, right now what's going in here now I don't even know what's coming in here next uh, eventually what was supposed to come in and now it's detoured and coming back on a new schedule and agenda is the Britney Spears music musical not her life story but it's called once upon a one more time uh, using her music and it's like a contemporary ladies book club and all the books come to life and it's fairy tales okay that was scheduled to come in here uh, before the, the, the world ended. So this is a seven minute video of me blathering about the Broadways. Uh, and um, there's a story about the Marriott Marquis, my favorite place, I'd love to go back there. What I wanna do is go back to the Jimmy Buffett musical. We had a ball. There you go, bye-bye now.